Good evening, everyone. The boys' basketball title was on the line in the Great Northern Conference. Marquette visits the Kingsford Flivers. First quarter, Larry Burnett, soft floater. Most floaters are soft. The game is tied at two. Now for the Flivers, Jeff Gregory is going to take a shot. And that's going to be off the high glass. No, but Aiden Winky gets the tip in. The Flivers lead 6-2. And Flivers will keep right on going this time. Jeff Gregory for three. Yes, sir. 9-2, maize and blue. And then the Kingsford defense makes a statement here as Winky will get the steal, and he will lay it up and in. 11-2, Kingsford. Marquette needs a timeout. Redmen would settle down after that as James Daniels will get the ball over to Andy Nyquist, and Nyquist will sink the outside shot he had 12. Boy, nice bounce there. A.J. Grazulis gets the next hoop for Marquette, but Kingsford is the winner of the Great Northern Conference, 51 to 44. Caleb Harrington had 17 to lead the way for the Flivers. Now let's go to the Battle of Delta County. Gladstone against Escanaba. Sam Molnar to Ben Kleiman. And the Eskimos are on the board here. His second straight three-pointer. Braves trailing, but Blake Ballard will get the jumper inside the arc. And Gladstone Escanaba would go back and forth a good percentage of the evening. Dakota Tryon posts up Jared Buxton, sort of. Gets the basket and the foul. He also made the three th free throw. Braves pushing the temple now. Cody Frazier, no. Kyle Kleiman underneath, yes. And Gladstone takes a two-point lead. Braves run a nice clear play here in the first half. Mike Cretans gets the bounce pass to Peyton Yurk. Gladstone leads by four. It would go back and forth all night. Blake Ballard had the buzzer, beat her right at the end. Gladstone 66, Escanaba 65. Ballard had 13 points. Uh, Cretans had 19, including five triples in the second half. Let's go back to Dickinson County now for a non-conference game, Menominee and Iron Mountain. Tyler Tommen, the Nate Cessonero, Mountaineers lead 28-25 in quarter number three. Next, Jared Rivard inside for Bobby Olson. He flips that one up and in, plus the foul, and the free throw was good, so we are tied at 28. Uh, Menominee, we need to have a little bit of help here. Number 20 is not on our roster. But he did make a nice shot there in a three-point play, 31-28 Maroons. But Luke Zambon would break the press himself. And he splits the defenders and goes in. Iron Mountain, your winner, 59-247. To the scoreboard, Shane Wendling and Shane Razio combined for 45. Hancock over Western County, 58-50. Caleb Pleaser at 21 for the White Cons. Calumet, no trouble with Lakeland and Hubble. Chassel, 14 cents better than Dollar Bay. Alex Openen had 22 for Jeffers, but Atanagan is the winner, 62-53. Barriga, four points better than Watersmeet, 52-48. Josh Turin and 21 for the Vikings. Adam Mackey pours in 22 for Ironwood, but Ashland beats the Red Devils, 44-41. Jared Davidson has 23 for Westwood. However, the Gremlins of Houghton win 56-55. A big night for Derek Reitz, 22 points and 11 rebounds, three others in double figures. Gwynn defeats Superior Central 81-69. Trevor Mackey at 26 for the Cougars. Let's stay in Menominee County. The number one team, the Little Five Pole Munising, taking on Dan Waterman and the uh, taking on the Ishpeming Hematites. Kenya Owis, a good start for the Mustangs, a 2-0 lead. Next off the turnover. It will be Alex Brionis who will pop in this one from the outside. And Munising had the lead at the end of the first quarter, 8-7 to the second. Tyrus Milimaki to Brionis. No, he's not shooting. He's passing to Cody Kugler. Nice pass. 9-8, Hematites regained the lead. On the other end, Joey Richardson gets the rebound. This was Kenya Owis on the pseudo one-man fast break. He pulls up, knocks it down with a nice bounce. He ended up with 39 points on the night. Guess what? Wasn't enough. Brionis gets the basket here. Owis was good for 75% of his team's offense, but Ishpeming is your winner, 54-52. Hop in the car, let's go to Nagani. The Miners taking on Norway. Second half action here. And Brock Weaver with the block. Zach Marshall will lead a semi-break. He slows it down for a second. He'll watch Tanner Uren cross right in front of him. Draws the defense. Tanner Uren for three. Yes, sir. 27-16 Nagani at that point. 
Next, Tyler Jandron to Uren. His shot is just off the mark, but Brock Weaver lays that one back up and in 29-16. Norway's offense took a while to get going in the third quarter. Randy Muller to John Gravel Jr. Nice three-pointer here. And Tyler Beaumont will get a nice pass from Uren. He puts it up and in. Lots of playing time for the Nagani seniors tonight. And the Miners post another victory, 48-37. They had already clinched the Mid-Peninsula Conference title. Back to the numbers. Pat Libertoski, 37 points, 10 three-pointers for Wakefield Marinesco, 86-43 over Butternut. Sault Ste. Marie, no trouble with Newberry. Curtis St. Louis pours in 33. St. Ignace 70, Sheboygan 56. Rudyard, six better than Roger City, 64-58. Detour 40, Brimley 37. Big Bay Knox in the win column again. Black Bears 73, Angadine 63. Raptor River also a 10-point winner, 43-33 over North Dickinson. Mid Peninsula gets 23 from Brett Brandstrom, 56-25 over Republic Michigami. Lucas Morrill pours in 25, 51-33, Carnegie over Forest Park. A buzzer beater from Jake Kleiman helps Park River Harris get past North Central 65-63, and it was Niagara 58, Wasaki 55. More basketball, the Northern Lights Tournament. It's small school basketball. We have Graham Marie against Paradise here. From the outside, that's Dominic Kinlaw for three. And Graham Murray is ahead by double digits. They are the Polar Bears, in case you have forgotten. Then Jesse Ross, give and go with Landon Stachnik. Yes. Ross puts in the triple, and it's 47-20. Hunter Ellenboss will get the offensive rebound and the putback for the Rockets. But it was not going to be enough in this one, as Landon Stachnik would score again on a layup. Oh, by the way, when you're in small school basketball, you can play on the varsity as a seventh grader. You have to love that. Graham Murray goes on to win 52 to 40. Game after that, it was Mackinac Island against Beaver Island. Colin Armstrong to Austin Ruddle, 2 0 Mackinac Island. They are the Lakers. Beaver Island is the Islanders, in case you didn't know. Anthony Rickley makes it 4 0 with a nice basket here. Then for Beaver Island, Gus Conigan with the layup. This one goes into overtime, and Beaver Island turns out to be your winner, 67 to 64. A few girls games, these couple scores from the Northern Lights Tournament as well. Graham Murray easily over Ojibwa Charter, Hannaville 59, Mackinac Island 45. Graham Murray over Beaver Island 42-38, yes, Graham Murray had to play twice. Waters Meet defeated UN Trail Creek 36-28, and the Sioux down Newberry 57-46. College hockey is next. To hockey, Lake Superior State travels across the UP to take on the enemy Wildcats tonight. Plenty of playoff implications with points in this one. And it didn't take long for things to get going. Reed Seckel puts the first one home from Matt Thurber and Scott McCauley. NMU leads 1-0 at 555. 12 minutes later, Kyle Jean gets on the board for the Lakers. However, he was disqualified later in the contest, so I don't think he's playing tomorrow night 1-1. Second period, Tyler Gron in business from Matt Thurber and Jake. Baker 2 1 cats at 824. Then Marquette's Justin Florek banging around the net. He puts that one home his 17th 3 1 cats. Jump to the third period. Matt Thurber is going to make it 5 1, and NMU went on to win 6 2. I thought we were opportunistic, I mean, when we needed to be. I mean, we, we, uh, we had some guys have some, some good offensive efforts, and we were to put some pucks behind them at the right time. Okay, so if I get this straight now, Ohio State, Notre Dame, and NMU are all tied with 39 points in seventh place, so seventh place, seventh place tie right now in the league. Now elsewhere in the CCHA, Miami helped Northern's cause. We go to the scoreboard by defeating the Buckeyes 3-0. Uh, Spartans don't help. Notre Dame wins 2-0 there. Bowling Green beat Michigan, Merry Christmas, 4-3. And Ferris State clinches the regular season title with the tie against Western Michigan. The Broncos did win the shootout in the seventh round. WCHA Michigan Tech against St. Cloud State. And a rough start for Tech as, yes, they're already on the board. Jared Fessler on the power play, 1-0. 
Then Joey Holka will make it two zip, about seven, no, oh, just four and a half minutes into the game. Ryan Fern will get the goal on the cross ice pass in front of the net. But not a good night for Michigan Tech. St. Cloud State, your winner by the count of five, two. Elsewhere in the CCHA, Minnesota Duluth beats Colorado College in overtime 4-3. North Dakota leads Denver 1-0 in the second. It is Minnesota in overtime defeating Nebraska Omaha 3-2 and Wisconsin. It's past Bemidji State 4-2.